Hello. So in this video, we'll see a software named Snapshot IQ. So in the Snapshot IQ is nothing but a software that's used for local backup. So Snapshot is a point in time copy where it takes a copy of a particular file at that particular point in time and keeps a copy to that. So whenever that particular file is completely deleted, you can recover the file using the snapshot. So the snapshot is taken at a directory level and also it includes a subdirectory of the main directory that it contains. And it is a logical copy of data. So where the uh, limit is set to 20,000 cluster, I mean snapshots per cluster and best practice is to have 1024 snapshots per directory as uh, this is a licensed feature so you need to get a, a valid license for this snapshot software to be used and this one of us uses the copy on write snaps so this is a copy on write is a feature that one of us uses one of us uses for this particular snapshot software so we'll see in detail about the snapshot how it works so let's say you have a file and at 9 o'clock you have a snapshot scheduled at 8.55 you are going to have a change on that particular file at 9 o'clock the snapshot is taken and during that time it will just uh, take a snapshot of that particular file and at 10 o'clock you have a snapshot scheduled and again you are going to change make a change on the file at uh, let's say at um, 9.50 then at 10 o'clock this particular snapshot will compare the 9 o'clock snapshot and 10 o'clock snapshot and will only copy the data of the file that has been changed the, the changes that has been made only that will be uh, incremental to the next snapshot so it's not that the entire snapshot is just taken no it will just go only for the incremental changes that has been made compared to the last snapshot so here in the snapshot, the snapshot of the size will start growing when you have more number of snapshots and also uh, when there is more number of motivation that is happening on the uh, user side, I mean on the file. So whenever a file is being keep on uh, you know, being modified, then that particular file's snapshot gets, uh, it keep, keeps growing. And in, uh, in the CLI, we have a dedicated uh, folder the hidden folder dot snapshot where all the snapshots are saved there so there are two uh, two three ways where you can uh, restore the snapshot so we'll see uh, those in the practicals and uh, snapshot storage uh, can store snap on the uh, different pools or tier so it's not that only on one particular pool we can do that it's like uh, you can do it on uh, any pool and also for each snapshot you can set up an expiration date so at that particular time the snapshot gets expired so as we told uh, this is the uh, dot snapshot is a folder where the uh, files the snapshot files will be saved and so that uh, it will be uh, useful to go for a restore when the particular file is lost or uh, that particular file is um, you know corrupted so on any any of the uh, these cases we will go and restore the last file so uh, let's see more in practicals about the snapshot IQ software. 